like we've never seen it before. Mars in real time. Today, the European Space Agency streamed on YouTube the first live images directly of Mars. It's for the 20th anniversary of the launch of the agency's Mars Express Orbiter, a mission to take three dimensional, dimensional images of the planet's surface. So joining me now is former NASA astronaut and International Space Station Commander Leroy Chow. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, this is being called the first ever live stream of Mars. Put into context for us just how big of a deal this is. Well, Mars has fascinated us for quite a long time, and of course, over the last few decades, we've had a lot of stunning images and other scientific data from Mars, from our rovers, uh, including the Perseverance, which is on Mars right now. Mars Express, as you pointed out, uh, they're 20 years into their mission, still going strong, did a lot of interesting work characterizing the atmosphere of Mars and other things, and now we're seeing this near live stream uh, of the planet, which is pretty cool, too. All right, so uh, Leroy, did it live up to the hype? What are your biggest takeaways? Uh, I don't know. You know, the, the hype, um, I mean, it's kind of neat that you're seeing near real-time images. It really takes almost that long uh, for these signals traveling at the speed of light to make it from the vehicle back over here to Earth. And so that, the concept is pretty cool. I mean, if you look at the images, well, they're taken from pretty far away with an old camera, so they don't compare that well to some of the more modern spacecraft that we have either orbiting or on the surface of Mars. But still the idea that we could see these images images uh, almost as uh, quickly as possible is, is pretty astounding. All right, so Leroy, you know this, a lot of people may not, that this wasn't not the original mission uh, for this piece of equipment, which is now hovering over Mars. How did scientists realize that they could actually make this happen? Well, I'm not sure who thought of the idea because the idea of the near real time images, it was when the spacecraft deployed a lander that unfortunately didn't work out, but they wanted to monitor that deployment in near real time 20 years ago. And so the camera was turned off after that. And then I'm not sure somebody within the European Space Agency said, hey, it'd be pretty cool if we turn that camera back on, see if it worked, see if it works and see if we can send back some near real time images uh, of the planet on the occasion of its 20th anniversary. Uh, of, uh, of the mission. So uh, they were able to get it done, uh, as you can see from these images. And it's a, it's a neat idea, even if the, the actual image itself is, is not as stunning as some of the other ones we've seen of Mars. Well, Leroy, last question here for you. Do you think this is going to maybe lay the groundwork for future live streams of other planets, or maybe there is a small uh, or a next small step for man that we can expect after this? Sure. I mean, I don't think technically it's that hard to do. You do have that time delay. Uh, what would be kind of cool to see actual video coming back. What you're seeing here is a series of, of still shots, but it's still kind of a neat idea. Absolutely. All right. Leroy Chow, we certainly appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.